Hello, my name is Troy and I live in Northern Utah and I thought I'd just share a quick video to show you kind of the before, during and after of redoing my roof on my 30 foot RV. Um, I've kept it in good shape. It's about a 12 year old RV and I've got the roof here. I'm gonna be working on that. I'll show you uh, some video here of my roof condition at the current time, the before picture of before using the roof RV magic and uh, kind of during the process and give you a good idea of where I'm at and how things are working out. Uh, it is about uh, 50 degrees here in Utah right now, so it's a good time to try to get this done before the winter starts uh, coming with the snow and the freezing ice and rain. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, let me turn this around here for you. So here you can see uh, where the uh, TV antenna was. Got a little bit of uh, mold uh, growing here. Uh, it's kind of dirty on top. It's in pretty good shape. I don't have any tears or holes in the in the roof, but you can see um, it is uh, aging. It's got uh, little microscopic uh, cracks. Uh, you can see maybe in the uh, roof here, the surface. Got some covers on the roof. You can see again, you know, it's got different mold uh, spores growing on the rooftop here. So I want to be able to get that refinished. Um, roof's not too bad, but it does definitely need to be taken care of. Um, here's the whole roof there. Um, just needs to be having a good clean right now. I'm going to be cleaning that uh, with some um, dishwash uh, detergent. Added a little bleach as well. And uh, we'll be getting this cleaned off so I can use the uh, RV Roof Magic to repaint it. All right, the first thing I've done is uh, completely wet the roof just to get off the uh, surface dirt, uh, first of all, to get rid of as much dirt as I can. And the next thing I'm going to do is remove the plastic uh, coverings on the roof so that I can paint and clean properly underneath those. Uh, as you can see, I've got these vent covers, these plastic vent covers. So I'm going to have to uh, remove those with these bolts so that I can get a good clean underneath. The, uh, the, uh, these, this roof is, these uh, covers have been on the roof for, for about 10 years now. So I'm going to need to remove these bolts to take the cover off so I can get a good clean around the vent. Um, I'm also going to uh, carefully remove the shroud here on the air conditioner so that I can get uh, underneath the air conditioner and get a good clean job underneath there and that vent as well. Um, I may uh, go ahead and see if I can remove the putty on this over the refrigerator so that I can uh, get a good clean job underneath here uh, to be able to paint that as well. As you can see, underneath the vent it's it's got some mold and some dirt growing underneath there so we're going to want to get underneath those those areas also need to uh, check and as you can see from aging i'm starting to get some cracking uh, going around the vent hole here um, so i've ordered some uh, rubex caulking to be able to put on these cracks as well uh, so that we have uh, seal up all of our leaks so that'll be the the first step is to remove uh, the different uh, fan or the vent shrouds and things like that. All right, I've removed uh, the vent covers and not too difficult, just a few bolts holding it on. But as you can see, uh, it's pretty dirty underneath. I'm going to have to try to clean this off the best I can. Uh, the vent's pretty dirty just from years of traveling. Um, need to get that all cleaned off as well probably take off the uh, these brackets. Uh, this one was already loose and, and I just moved, moved that one. Uh, so I need to take off those brackets so I can get painted around that. Uh, just get this whole area cleaned up really well so it can paint really nice. I uh, just want to show you, you know, I've got this one removed. Um, I've got this one over here removed as well. Um, but I also need to take off uh, the shroud as well. So I'll be uh, working on that for just a little bit. It's already getting nighttime, so I'll probably have to uh, try to pick this up in the morning and try to finish it up. Okay, a uh, little bit of labor scrubbing with the brush on the top here, uh, dipping it in the bucket with the solution and then able to wash it off in a small segment here. Uh, using a little bit of brushing back and forth to clear off as much 
uh, surface dirt. So when we paint the RV Magic, it'll be easy to apply and it will have a good clean surface. Uh, as you do that, just move back and forth and you'll do a pretty good job. It'd be a lot easier if you could maybe switch off with somebody, if that's not possible. You just have to keep working at it little by little. Um, also, don't forget to carefully do uh, the sides along here as well, just along the side that you'll need to be painting uh, to get that cleaned off. And uh, now I'm gonna rinse it off and we'll do another section. So here we go. Uh, just to show you, uh, it's coming pretty clean, but the uh, old molding or the old uh, um, caulking that's here above or around the vent is still in good shape, uh, but it's gonna be painted over and I'll probably touch it up a little bit more again with some of the uh, caulking that they recommend. Um, it is dirty, is it still a little bit dirty? If you can see, um, I'll need to get probably a sponge and continue to, to clean this off really well so that the paint will stick to it. As you can see, it's still got some dirt on there. So I'll need to get that off. Probably use a sponge or a rag to continue wiping that off. Okay, as you can see, I've been scrubbing and working on getting all of the surface dirt off. Uh, you want to have your your um, caulking fairly clean going around the different uh, parts on the trailer. And I'm slowly working on it. Now, remind you, uh, my roof isn't in too bad a shape, but it is 12 years old. And it is starting to get uh, mold spots on it. And uh, very closely, uh, you can see uh, surface cracks that are in it. And that is what I'm working on is getting it repainted to avoid any future problems. So I'm gonna keep working away at this. But as you can see, a lot of dirt. That's why you gotta clean it off well before you paint it. So I'm gonna keep working on it and getting it cleaned off. All right, I've prepared our caulking gun here with our Rubik's uh, caulking. And as you can see, we're ready to, to, we've got the surfaces clean, so we're gonna to want to carefully apply uh, probably a, a liberal amount. Just gotta get this pump through here real quick. And just carefully run that around in the track. Probably watch it, let it settle, and then come back and maybe hit it up again just to ensure that it's sealing well with everything here. So just slowly working my way around this vent. And we'll continue to do that all the way around the trailer. Okay. Okay, here we are uh, actually uh, tackling this here uh, more early afternoon. It's about 60 degrees out today. It's going to be a beautiful day to try to get this job done. Not too hot, not too cold. And uh, last night I was able to caulk all of the uh, joints uh, with this uh, Rubex uh, caulking here. I was able to get uh, pretty much, uh, I still have a little bit left, but I was able to go around to all of the vents and seams and caulk everywhere. As you can see, I've got uh, everything caulked all the way back around. Uh, retouched all up all of the areas here. Uh, touched up all the screws and the, the edges and and all of the all of the areas so that it's ready to go. So it can be easily painted over. Um, so it should be good there. Uh, picked up here uh, the three inch three eighths inch nap roller uh, that I'm going to be using here to paint the RV Magic. Um, I've got my tray to put my to put my uh, paint in, got my roller, got some gloves, and here's the uh, RV Roof Magic. Um, it's called for a small drill to be able to stir it. I don't have the, the fitting for that, so I've vigorously stirred on this for about five minutes. Um, it recently just came in the mail, so um, it should be good, fairly good to go. I think it was just recently mixed, of course, at the factory, and uh, I've been stirring this vigorously for five minutes should be good to go seems fairly thick uh, in nature so we'll go ahead and get this going get it started at the front of the trailer and uh, just work our way back
All right, I'm just still working on the first can of RV Roof Magic, and uh, it's taken a little bit of a process, uh, just getting it nice and even on the surface with a roller. Uh, learn from my mistake. Uh, I bought uh, a fairly inexpensive roller, a multi-purpose universal roller, 3 inch, 3 8 inch nap. However, problem was, uh, as you can see right here, if you can focus down here, uh, when I started to use the roller, because it was a cheaper roller, it actually, the fibers of the roller actually came out of the roller. Don't want that. Not good. Uh, so what you're going to need to do is pay a little extra money and get you some better, more professional rollers. Uh, as you can see, Purdy rollers here. Got some Ace Hardware, uh, 3 8 inch, and uh, this seems to be doing much, much better job. Uh, as you can see now, uh, much more smoother finish. So you definitely want to have it doing, doing well on that. Uh, so I've started in the corner, just been working my way back and forth. Uh, I used a paint brush and uh, was able to go around the vents uh, prior so that I didn't have to try to roll it around the vents, uh, rolling up to around the vents. So I've been painting around the vents uh, prior and then now painting the roof. Um, it's gonna, it might take you a couple times, a couple um, uh, laps of paint here to get it nice and even. Uh, also, as you're doing the sides, um, I use the roller to go down the sides just a little bit on the edges of the roof as well so that it's starting to uh, seal the edges too. So we'll get to that point. All right, one other quick uh, tip. So the contents of under here in the RV Roof Magic is is uh, under pressure. Um, the can is uh, definitely bulged on the top and the bottom. So the instruction says to be very careful when opening this. It stands with reason because they've actually have these clips going around the can. I've already remo removed several of them, but uh, just very carefully with the screwdriver, pry the clip out. And as you're prying this lid off, you know, it says to cover it with a rag and uh, probably hold the, the lid carefully so that it doesn't pop out and get paint everywhere. So uh, the uh, contents inside the can, uh, the, um, the paint itself is uh, very combustible, so therefore it's bulging the can right now. Just a quick tip. All right, uh, we finished up the painting and it's all dried now. It looks great. Um, really adhered to the surface really well. Uh, it's got a little bit of leaves on it now during the course of the, the last day or so. It's been blowing a little bit, but either way, it looks good. Um, I did notice that in a few spots, um, the uh, rubber uh, during the course of the night, I applied it during when it was about 58, 55 degrees. And during the night, it did uh, freeze a little bit overnight. And so the surface did get a little bit of some, some uh, weird uh, crystals didn't uh, hurt the integrity of the roof but you can see little ice crystals in the roof um, I've got some extra material and I'll plan on putting some more on in the springtime to be able to um, put another extra coat on it and that should seal it up even more but otherwise it looks good uh, it covered it up and it feels like a brand new roof so very happy and pleased with the product